My husband, James Colton, is a coal miner in Wales. No, I haven't seen him in eight years, but what business is that of yours? <clears throat> no, I'm not a member of the Communist Party. I'm an anarchist. The Communists barely tolerate us when they are heckling us, shouting us, shooting at us, or putting us in prison. But what difference does it make? Dear E.G., you know, of course, that what might go for a citizen here would not go for an alien visitor. So much for liberty and justice for all. Good luck, E.G. Dear Roger and dear Sasha, today I saw the American consul, Mr. Horatio Moores. There are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio, than are dreamt of by your bureaucracy, but not many. <laughs> It would break his patriotic little heart to have to give me a visa. Well, Mrs. Coulter, uh, you will have to pay four dollars and ninety-nine cents in Canadian currency for return cables to the consul in Paris in order to verify the accuracy of your alleged domicile in San Trope. Here you are, four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Uh, that, uh, uh, <laughs> uh, that's fine. Uh, but will that leave you enough money to live on without becoming a public charge should you be granted service to enter the United States of America? And what assurances have you that you will be readmitted to Canada once said permit expires? After a long argument, I succeeded in satisfying him about this. He then grilled me for an hour about my ideas. Let me remind you, Miss Goldman, uh, the Immigration Act of 1903, Section 38, specifically states that no person who disbelieves in or who is opposed to all organized government shall be permitted to enter the United States. It is therefore my duty to ask you, are you an anarchist? Mr. Moores, what the law calls anarchism is not what it represents to me. To me, an anarchist is a person who does not rely on governments to justify his existence, but takes responsibility for his own actions so far as they concern other people. Well, if you don't understand that, then read section two of that same law you read me, which provides that nothing in this act shall exclude persons convicted of an offense purely political in nature. Well, I wouldn't get my hopes up too high. Anarchists and Persons of moral turpitude are a class specifically excluded. The laws there, Miss Goldman. And I don't see how Washington can get by it. Moral turpitude, you bastard. Dear Roger, do I have to sell myself now as the keeper of American morals? 